Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Tonight I'm guiding you through a new moon yin yoga practice. And this month the new moon is in the sign of Taurus. And Taurus is a deeply sensual and creative earth energy that's connected to the creative cycles of Mother Earth. And in this practice tonight, we'll be connecting into two of the creative centers of the body, into the Svadhasthana, the sacral chakra, and the center that holds the seeds of our creative energy, and also the throat chakra, the Vajuda. And this is the center that gives form and expression to our creative energies, helping to bring the seeds of our intention into form and physical manifestation on the earth. So we'll start tonight by coming into a comfortable seated position and placing your palms face up on your thighs, closing your eyes. Taking a moment to soften your energy down towards the earth. Sensing and feeling into your body. And finding a full extension of your spine. Drawing up from the earth towards the night sky. And feeling the crown of your head opening to the light of the moon to the healing light of the moon. Breathing in the light of the moon and feeling the cooling light bathing your five senses. Soaking in through your skin. Soaking in through your eyes and ears, nose, and mouth. As you tune into your inner space. Gathering your palms to your heart center and taking a moment to feel and sense into a sankalpa or a new moon intention for the next lunar cycle. Sensing into what's ready to move into physical expression and form in your life. And rather than searching mentally for your intention, just allowing it to arise and come forward through your practice tonight. Taking a deep and full breath into the center of your chest and exhaling. We'll relax our palms to our knees, opening your eyes and taking a big breath in, drawing your shoulders up to your ears, inhaling, shrugging the shoulders and exhaling. And one more time, inhaling and exhaling. Let's drop our chin down towards our chest and just soften a little through the back of your neck, bringing a gentle compression to the throat. This is the area of the body that Taurus rules. And we'll slowly draw 
the left ear to the left shoulder, opening through the side of the neck, taking a breath. And exhaling, drawing the chin back to center, right ear to right shoulder. Big breath into the side of your neck. And then let's try that again, moving at your own pace from side to side. Releasing any tension and stagnation through the throat and neck. Bringing some gentle stimulation to the thyroid. And we'll bring our chin back to center and float our head all the way up. Let's take our palms behind us, lean back, and bring the soles of our feet to the ground. And we'll rock our knees from side to side, bringing a little bit of massage to our hips. And then let's come into butterfly pose, sliding the soles of your feet together and drawing the heels away from the body until you can feel the hip crease relax and the thigh bones drop down. We'll be here for a little while, so make sure you do prop your thighs or your knees as you need to. And let's take a breath here, lengthening up along the spine, and we're taking the right hand and we're crossing it over the left, and we're reaching for opposite shoulders, bringing a gentle opening to the back of the heart and through the back of the neck. So feel the shoulders just melt down away from your ears, closing your eyes. Imagining that you're breathing in moonlight into the heart space. Feeling the heart space, feeding the energies of the throat. Nourishing the creative energies. And then relaxing the arms, turning your body over towards the left and feeling the left thigh just dropping towards the earth as you fold forward. Walk your fingertips forward, but continue to root back and down through the right hip. And then exhale and soften here, letting the elbows bend, the shoulders draw forward and your head hang over the left knee. If you need some props for your forehead, just slide a pillow or some cushions under the forehead so that you can fully relax here. And if you do feel any tension through the opposite knee, so through the right knee, then try bringing your body a little bit more towards the inner leg line and that should help that opposite knee relax. You're letting your head drop and the back of the neck lengthen.
Feeling the whole body soften and relax. Stay connected to the stability of the earth as you slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bringing your body back to center, closing your eyes. Take a breath, roll your shoulders again up to your ears and exhale, relax the shoulders back and down. And this time we'll reach our left arm on top of the right and we're reaching for opposite shoulders. Relaxing the elbows away from the ears and simply feeling the back of the heart open. Rooting down through the sits bones and lengthening up through the crown of your head. Three breaths. Relaxing your arms and turning your body now over towards the right thigh. Taking a breath and folding towards the right, walking your fingertips forward as you root back and down through the left hip and then let the whole body melt. Elbows bend, forehead relaxed. Really allowing the back of the neck to soften. Again, using support under your forehead or your knees if you need some extra support.
take your final breath. Lifting up and coming back to center. Sliding both palms behind you, lean back and gently lift through the back of your heart. Look up. Breathing in the cooling, healing light of the moon. This light is known as Soma. It's like a healing water or a healing nectar. And then we'll come back to center. We'll bring our knees in towards each other. And let's rock the knees again from side to side, just bringing a little bit of movement and integration to the body. And we'll be moving back into butterfly pose. So make sure you get as much movement as you need first. And then we'll come back into butterfly pose. If this is feeling intense, just bring some space between your heels. Give your hips a little bit more space to relax. And then we'll slide the palms down along the shin bones, letting the head hang. And it's really nice to slide a pillow under your forehead so that your head is fully supported here. And you can really drop through the shoulders, lengthen the neck, and soften through the jaw and forehead. Feeling a deep release through the pelvis and the sacrum at the base of your spine. Opening up this whole channel of energy from the creative center all the way up to the throat. And if it feels appropriate for your neck, you can gently take your hands, interlace your fingers, and just cup the base of your skull, elbows drawing down towards the earth. And you're not pulling on your head, you're just adding a feather light touch to the base of the skull, feeling the base of the skull widen. And then slowly slide your palms down the head and release your hands. We'll take a few breaths to roll up. Take your time again, rooting into the support of the earth and drawing up along the spine one vertebrae at a time. And as you come up, we'll pause with our head floating over the pelvis. 
feeling into the river of healing light. And then we'll slowly draw our knees back towards each other. And now we'll work with a rolled blanket or a bolster and bring that along our spine. Taking the short edge of the blanket or bolster to the sacrum, making contact with the body, and then lengthen the spine and lower down again, one vertebrae at a time. Adjusting so that the heart feels broad and open. Your head is supported. So if your head is longer than your bolster, you might be adding an extra prop to create more length with your bolster so that the base of the skull is fully supported. You have a natural arc through your neck and you can relax your arms alongside your body. You can keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. You can come back into butterfly pose. This might feel maybe too much for the pelvis, so just feel into this for yourself. And if it does feel aggravating at all, then just bring the feet back to the earth or stretch your legs out in front of you. Taking a breath and closing your eyes. Feeling as though the moon were bathing the sacral center just below the belly button into the creative organs, the reproductive system. and the cooling moonlight bathing the throat center, which is also the gestative center. Nourishing the thyroid gland, the vocal cords, Allowing the sankalpa, your intention, to take form through the sound of your voice, sound and vibration, moving into form and manifestation.
taking three big breaths. And finding a bit of movement through your body. You can reach behind you and take a hold of opposite elbows. Taking a big breath. And then relax your arms, bend your knees, and you can roll off of your bolster to one side. Reach behind you, slide the prop away, and then come onto your back. And just taking a moment to Connect to the ground, the earth below you. And as you're ready, we'll bring both knees over towards the left. Opening across the heart, and let's take the twist into the neck and the throat, dropping your head over towards the right. Letting your head roll back to center. Both knees floating up to the heart and taking a breath. And both knees now dropping over to the right. Opening across the heart, softening through the left shoulder, and letting your head drop over to the left.
rolling your head to center, relaxing your throat, loading both knees back. And as you come onto your back, take your hands, interlace your fingers, and cup the base of your skull. We'll curl the head towards the knees, drawing the elbows up and dropping the head back. And then placing your head back to the ground, and dropping your feet to the floor, wrapping each shoulder underneath you. And you can either extend your legs open and take this time to fully rest and relax in Shavasana, just allowing yourself to move into a space between waking and sleeping. If you'd prefer to close your practice in a seated meditation, you can also choose that option. As you close your eyes, sensing and feeling into your sankalpa, your new moon intention. And allowing your intention to unfold and reveal itself to you over this next lunar cycle. Noticing what wants to come into concrete form and physical manifestation in your life. As though the seeds of your intention were growing green shoots and pushing up from underground towards the sun. Thank you so much for practicing with me tonight. And I always love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know how this new moon practice went for you tonight. And I'll see you next time. Namaste. For more yoga practices like these, please like this video, comment below, and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.